Hi everybody, so I was requested to do a nice light spring look and the colors I chose were white and pink. Now I know that when you think of spring looks you see people do a lot of white and pink looks but this is just what came to my head and I wanted to see how to do it so I tried something out. Now you don't have to use pink if you want, you can use like blue, green, purple, any other color because we mainly only use two colors. We use different shades of pink and then we use a white. So you can use just different shades of green or different shades of blues to get the same type of look but just with a different color. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see how to get it, keep watching. Okay, so my camera cut out the first part so I'm just going to re-explain what I was doing. I applied my NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone and then on top of that I applied my NYX jumbo pencil in milk. Now I'm taking my 88 Coastal Scents Original Palette and I'm taking this color right here and I'm mixing it with the color right below it on my E55 brush from Sigma and I'm just applying these to the inner and outer corners of my eye. Now on the inner corners you want to make sure you don't apply as much color and you blend it out up here towards your brow bone so you just blend it right here and in the outer corners you just want to make sure that it's very vibrant but blend it out around the edges because you don't want this look to have any harsh edges. So just blend it like this. Okay, so now I'm going into a low Cornell one-fourth of an inch brush. It's just a small shader brush. And then I'm going into this color right here. It's just an off-white color with a little bit of a pink undertone. And I'm going to apply this to the space we still have in the middle of our eye. And I'm going to apply this along my brow. So right here. Now you want to make sure you don't bring it in here where the pink is. You want to just keep it here on the outer edges. And you do the same on the other side. If you lost some of that pink on the inner corner, you can go back in with your E55 brush and just brush with the rest of the product on the brush. Don't pick up any more product because this is supposed to be very subtle. Okay, so now going in with a Sonia Kashuk angled brush, I'm going to go in with this color right here from the same palette. And I'm just going to pick this color up and apply this to my outer corners. You don't want to create a cat eye, you want to keep the shape very round. So just apply this to the outer corner like this. And you want to pack this color on first before you blend because this needs to be very, very vibrant in the outer corners since the inner portion of your eye is going to be very light. Okay, so now it's going to look like this, kind of funny, but we're going to blend it out later. Now I'm going into this color right here from the same palette. It's just an even more vibrant pink. Taking it on the same brush, I'm going to apply this just to my outer corners. Just like that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my E55 brush again and I'm going to blend this color inwards. So just run it back and forth. Don't blend too much. Just blend it so it's soft enough. And go, what I'm doing is I'm going diagonally just across my upper lash line to create this shape. Now I'm tugging this color in towards my crease and towards this pink we have right up here. And you want to do the same on the other side. So just blend it in, blend in the crease, and make sure it's very soft. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm taking this color right up here and I'm just going to take just a little bit on the tip of this brush 
and I'm running this along the outer edges first just to add a little bit more of a purple tone to the outer edges now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same brush I'm going to wipe it off really good and then I'm going to go back into this color we applied on our lid right there and I'm going to blend this around the edges as well just to lighten up that purple Okay, so taking the same vibrant pink we used in our outer corners, I'm going to take that on the tip of the brush and I'm going to run this on the outer edges of my lower lash line. And bring it in, I'd say, about halfway. Okay, so now I'm going to take a off-white color again, the same one we use as our highlight. And I'm going to blend this on the inner portion of our eye and blend it in right on top of the pink. Okay, so I'm just going to have one more step for the eyeshadow, and I'm taking my Sephora Color Play Palette. This is the second edition. I believe it was a holiday palette, so you can't get it anymore, but I'm going into this white shade right up here, and I'm taking it on my low Cornell brush, and applying this just to my inner corners to add just a little bit of dimension to the eye. I'm going to take some of that color and apply this right on top of the middle of our eye where we have the white. Just like this. And apply it to the other side as well. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is I am going to apply some eyeliner to my upper lash line and wing it out. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara and I'll come back and show you what I use on the okay, rest of my face. Okay, so we're done with the eyes. I'm just going to zoom in and show you what it looks like at the end. And this is what it looks like. We just have the pink on the outer corner with the pink coming down towards the lower lash line and then the white on our lid. Now for my brows, I just filled them in like normal since the eyeshadow doesn't come out too far. I didn't have to extend it. I applied my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I winged it out and then I applied my Avon Super Shock Mascara. So I applied this onto my upper lash line, just a black gel liner and then for my waterline, again I applied my Prestige Eye Coal in white and it's just a white eyeliner. For my cheeks I applied my Maybelline Expert Wear Blush in Romantic Plum and it just looks like this. I didn't want to add too much of a contour because it's such a soft look. I wanted to keep the cheeks soft as well. For my foundation today I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 210 Sandy Beige. Now again I use this because it has a nice dewy effect, it's very light coverage so it doesn't look like you caked on a lot of foundation and I didn't want to have that look because this look is so soft and subtle. For my lips I applied my NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Smoky Look. Now I wanted to mute out my lips first a little bit to add a little bit more of a pink tone to my lips but I felt like it would just be too washed out and too light since the eyes are light already I didn't want to do that. Another thing you can use for this is the Lancome Color Design Lipstick in Love It which I would have worn but I wanted to keep the lips very nice and neutral. So that's another suggestion for your lips. If you want to see a tutorial on how to get the perfect winged eyeliner, I will link that video below. Also, if you want to see some pictures and a full list of products on this look, I will link my blog below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Until next time, bye!